Hey you guys, Dr. Vasicek here of Raw Wanderlust, and today I am here with my dear friend Brittany Taylor of Simple Living and Travel. She has her YouTube channel and her blog and website um, all named Simple Living and Travel. She has been a huge inspiration for me. I don't know if you've seen, a, I made a recent video of uh, my experiment in minimalism and uh, I was home at my parents' house going through some stuff and really condensing it down to a carry-on and a, and a pack. Um, so and badass. it's because of you that I've like really dived into this in a big way. And I'm so, so I'm like, I just, I love this girl. And <laughs> I'm really, really excited that we're here together at the same time. Yeah, me too. Um, and I just wanted to ask you a couple questions. Uh, the first question is, what does minimalism mean to you? Like, for someone who's just so fresh and new and doesn't know what the heck this is all about. That's a great question. Okay, I guess minimalism to me is about cutting the junk out of your life that doesn't serve you anymore to make space for your ideal. For what it is that you want to unfold. Yeah. Like, for your dream life. Wow. Wow. Wow, <laughs> I get the chills when I hear that. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. And I don't think it has to look like anything in particular. It doesn't have to mm. look like owning a certain amount of stuff. It doesn't have to look like anything. But I think that's what minimalism has meant for me in my life and other people wow. I see in their lives. I love that. I love that. Thank you. Yeah. So what is it? what has it looked like for you from like from where you started to where you are now and then going to where you want to be? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, I grew up with hoarders, so I just felt like I always wanted more space to, like, just more space to be. Yeah. And so I think that manifested early on for me. But then I tra started traveling. When I was in college, I studied abroad, and then afterwards I kept traveling. And when you travel, you quickly find out that it's really hard to travel with a lot of junk. Yes. <laughs> And the other really cool thing that happens is you're traveling and you living out of this suitcase or backpack or whatever you brought, inevitably you only touch like a small number of things and you're having the best time of your life on your trip. And at some point you're like, what the hell do I have back at home that I need? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing. Yeah. And so I have found that travel really inspires minimalism. Totally. And you experience that freedom and the excitement of seeing the world and you recognize like, oh, stuff doesn't actually matter to me. These experiences matter. Like, self-growth matters. Connecting with other people matters. And so that's how it unfolded for me. Wow. And the more I traveled, I did a lot of travel, and every time I, I traveled with fewer and fewer items until finally I just was like, that's it. Like, all I need is a backpack's worth of stuff. Wow. So, so how much... I know you recently condensed it down even further, but yeah. how much were you traveling with for a long time? And then, and then can you just go into where you are now? Yes. I was traveling out of a 28 liter pack, which is like technically, I guess, considered a day pack. It was a nice yeah. size pack. It's really small. I was looking when I was going into this, I was looking at the exact same pack that you had mm -hmm. and it, I was like, okay, I think I can do 28 liters. I think this is okay. I ordered it. I got to REI. And I, when I saw it in person, I was like, <laughs> this is really scary. Like, oh, wow. It's, totally get that. It looked really small. And so I ended up getting a 40 liter, which works for me. Which is a great size. Yeah. And it's still carry on a bowl. Like, mm -hmm. you can still carry it onto an yes. airplane, which is what I wanted. Um, but yeah, 28 liter is like 12 liters less than that. And I just... Um, yeah, maybe someday I'll get there. But now, where are you at now? Like, so. Um, and now I'm traveling out of a 19 liter. That's so crazy. <laughs> I can show you. Yeah. Um, it's, but a lot of backpackers travel with like 60, 65 liter packs. Yeah. And you see them, you know, it's on like your backpacking huge circuit. Thing. It's like towering above their head. <laughs> like, they have to get two people to get it on their backs. Yeah. And I just, I just thought, like, I want to be able to enjoy my travel and never feel like. I can't enjoy this walk to my hostel or like this journey on this bus because there's so much stuff here. Yeah. Yeah. And really just like, you see that so many times you pick up your bag so many times when you're traveling and are just like, Oh, <laughs> and I was like, what if I just traveled with like a backpack, like a, like a school knapsack backpack size. Yeah. And it, it just feels great. I love having a pack too, because it really forces you to, analyze what am I carrying because I'm yeah. really lucky I really feel it. you really feel it it's like you're not cheating with wheels like yes <laughs> wheels have a time and a place you know but it's yeah. like it, yeah going wheelless is a really big deal it I, is. I feel like yeah 
So with your 19 liter pack, um, do you think you'll ever go smaller or, I mean, mm. you can't really, I mean, that's a pretty small, it's like smaller than most school backpacks. It's like, it's pretty small. Um, but you were, we were talking about this yesterday and you were saying how like there are still a few things that you're like, yeah. why am I carrying this? And like, yeah. you still ask those questions even when you're down to 19 liters. So do you see yourself going even less or does this feel like pretty good right now? That's a good question. That's a really fun thing to ponder. I've not really thought about it. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's still pretty new for you, but... I bet I will go less at some point for the fun of it. Like, yeah. for the fun of it, I could live with nothing but, like, what I have on my body. And, like, yeah. maybe, like, a little side pouch where I keep, like, a toothbrush and a long sleeve <laughs> shirt. And, like, I love it. I love it. You know? Because, like, what do we really need? Yeah. Especially if you're in a climate where it's not really varying between day and night and between right. seasons. Yeah. Um... But I feel like this size is perfect because one thing I love is like it has a laptop compartment for my bag. Mm. It's got side pouches so I can actually organize within the bag so I don't need to have like, I think I'm going to eliminate my toiletry pit completely because I can just organize like my toothbrush and my tooth powder all in one side of the bag. Yeah. And like when it's not full, the bag still feels like a good size. Like it doesn't fill up my whole back. Wow. And so I think that what I probably will keep doing is taking items out of it just to have more space. Yeah, just to have more bags. space. Yeah, and it's not so heavy and you don't feel it as much. Yeah, exactly. That makes sense. So what what excites you about minimalism? Uh, everything. <laughs> I think it's like that, yeah, the getting stuff out of my life that's not serving me, the stuff that feels like excess baggage, like whether it's mental or physical, emotional, and making space for like for opportunities and creation yeah. and the excitement of the magic of life really yeah that's what excites me about it is like the possibilities the mag magic and it invites newness yeah and creativity and it invites spontaneity and all these things that are the opposite of like monotony and like standard stagnancy stagnancy yeah, yeah. boring living Totally. And it's freedom, really, is what I want. I just want the freedom to be me and to be spontaneous. Yes. I know you understand that. <laughs> and to have this wanderlust and yes. to just be able to do what feels great in my travels, in my relationships, in my life, and the items I own. And, yeah. yeah, you get so much of that. So much freedom, I felt. I mean, I'm still still feel like I'm a pretty novice in this area, but I feel like I totally know what you mean. Like the more freedom you have, that's like so much easier to travel when you're not, you don't have to check a bag. It's yeah. like, I don't have to wait in line and get this. And what if it, you don't have to, you don't you just completely eliminate the stress of what if my luggage gets lost? It's like, I, yeah. I'm carrying it all. Like it's not going anywhere. And so oh, I love that. it's really cool. And I love what excites me about it too is like, is learning from you and taking what I can and applying it to my life. And I know there are people out there that are going to apply this at different levels and, um, just being able to share it and, you know, just help people realize you don't need that much. Like, yeah. it just feels so freeing because when you don't need that much, it means you can spend your money on other things, yeah. and other memories on other more. Yeah. And you can, you can invest it elsewhere and it just feels so good to like not need, <sighs> The, you know, duplicates of clothing and the, the newest gadget and whatever it is, you know, like whatever it is for you. Yeah. Um, I love it. I also was just thinking like when you're talking about having your stuff with you all the time, if you're traveling somewhere, you're in like Spain and you want to hop a plane over to Peru, you, you can because you have everything with you. It's not yeah. like, oh, but I have to go home and I have like repack and assess yeah, things. And take care yeah. of my house and totally. take care of my dog and like yeah. <laughs> any of those things. That's so true. That's so true. Well, thank you so much for sharing your ideas for and part me. of your journey. You guys should totally check her out. Um, I'll leave links below for her website and YouTube. She's just a huge inspiration to me. And she, there's some videos that you've done on, on your Tom Vin bag, yeah. which she shows like exactly the size and, and what she's, what she's living out of right now. And it's really inspiring. I highly recommend you go check it out. Thanks. So, okay. Until next time. Thanks guys. <laughs> See ya.